Hi, my name is Ellen, and today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my bullet journal for December. I can't believe December is already approaching. I'm getting very excited for the holiday season, and I get to go home and see all of my family because I go to school out of state, so it's time for winter break and family time. <laughs> I am doing my journal in my Dingbats bullet journal this month. Um, I decided to get a little bit spicy with it. If you saw my November plan with me, it was pretty minimal um, and really focused on just getting me through the end of my school quarter. Um, so December, I am playing around a little bit more, getting to be a little more creative, and I'm excited to show you what I came up with. Here are some of the supplies that I was using. I have some craft paper, and I printed out a bunch of images. Um, I have free color printing at my school, which is really nice. It's new this year. So I picked a bunch of pictures from Pinterest and I cut them out to use in my spreads this month. I thought that they were all really cute and, you know, give me some options. Here's all of them cut out. I'm gonna dive on into my Dingbats journal. And I sketched everything out in pencil to make this a little bit quicker, but I'm going for a gingerbread theme this month. So here is some of that craft paper you saw. I actually just used some brown grocery bags and I cut it up and glued it in. So here's a little gingerbread house. I actually bought some white jelly roll pens um, to use this month. I haven't had white gel pens before and I had a lot of fun playing with them. So as you see here, I'm decorating my gingerbread house a little bit more. And now I'm going to add on the page opposite some of those pictures I printed out. Um, I did some arranging and rearranging, trying to decide what I wanted to have there. There's a lot of gluing going on in this month's spreads. paper to make it match. Ooh, that is a satisfying noise, huh? <laughs> um, I decided for my monthly overview I wanted to do craft paper with the white on it um, just to make it, you know, look a little extra special. So I ripped out about the right size and I tweaked it as needed and then I split it across the two pages. So I put five days on one side and two days on the other. And here I'm doing all of my measuring out. So that's the only downside to doing it on the craft paper is I did have to measure everything because obviously there weren't any dots on it, but I think it was worth it. It looks really cool. It's definitely just a little bit futzy though. the days of the week. I always like to put a little sun for Sunday. And adding all of the numbers as well. And then in the days that are not actually days of December, I decided to draw some little gingerbread men and um, just kind of fill in those spaces. They turned out pretty cute, although that one looked a little creepy, so I decided I'd do every other full white and gingerbread guy. <laughs> Here I'm adding all the glue. There you can see <laughs> this is a King Supers bag I was using, and we're sticking that down. 
Um, I will say that because of all of the glue, it made the page a little bit weird. So if that's something that would bother you, I would suggest maybe just taping this down if you want to do the same so that it's not like weird and wrinkly on the other side, I guess. <laughs> December in my little pin. And then I decided because there was only two days of the week on one side, there was a good amount of extra space and I wanted to add something. So I'm adding this little kind of winter festive looking envelope I cut the front off of and I taped that down and I am going to put my Christmas list there. If you don't celebrate Christmas though, you could definitely just have a to-do list here or any other kind of space you might want for whatever. this is my gratitude page. I decided that being the season of giving, I wanted to do a gratitude page. And here I am numbering all of the days of the month so that I can have a space for every day. And the other side of this two page spread is gonna be memories. I've done memories pages in the past and I think they're really fun. Here I'm adding in a gingerbread craft paper YouTube button and setting up my YouTube planning schedule. So I'm drawing out a smaller calendar of the month so that I can put in when I'm planning to post different videos. Um, I accidentally drew too much. And then below I'm putting down some of the steps in my process of making videos so that I can check off when I've done different parts of it. So I check when I've filmed, done my rough edit, and um, the intro, outro, music, text, and some other things as well. I'm picking out some more pictures again. I picked out Charlie Brown and some Christmas lights. So we're gonna tape those down. The maker of Peanuts actually went to my high school, so I have a special place in my heart for that. Um, this is some washi tape I thought went well with it as well. I actually got the washi tape in Taiwan where I studied abroad. Now I'm just adding the title to the page. It's gonna be my brain dump. Here I'm adding a little craft paper for the header of this page because I wanted to keep doing more of that. This is kind of my Christmas gift and stocking planning page. So I'm gluing down a bunch of little stockings that I cut out. I cut out 14 because my extended family comes for Christmas and we will have 14 stockings this year. So I'm just gonna keep track of different things I'm planning to get. I do um, some of the shopping for my mom. <laughs> And then on this side, it's my gift tracker, so I'll keep track of who I'm buying for, what I'm thinking, and the price, and if I've bought it, and if I've wrapped it. And then again, going over my craft paper with my white gel pen to add the title. To my weekly spread I'm doing a little calendar and I wanted to add more craft paper again so to highlight which week we are on I did that on craft paper and then I made a little section that says notes and that is on craft paper as well so we're gluing those pieces down and then I'm writing in the rest of the days of the month and here is kind of a view of what that is I put a little habit tracker at the bottom and then on the other page, I'm adding a little bit of decoration, doing like a cookie sheet with some gingerbread people that I cut out and will glue down to their cookie sheet. Sorry, my hand looks so weird when I'm gluing these down. I don't know, I think that the camera was in the way a little. So here's a look at all the pages again. Here's the monthly overview my gratitude and memories page. I added one of the pictures that I printed out there. My YouTube tracker and brain dump. 
and then my gift tracking pages, and finally my first weekly page. Thank you for watching me set up my December bullet journal. I hope you enjoyed watching me get to be a little creative. And yeah, I'm really excited about the gingerbread kind of theme. Um, I feel like it's a little bit different from what I've seen for December bullet journals. It's not necessarily holiday specific, like, you know, it's not just Christmas. I definitely skewed my spreads Christmas wise because that is what my family celebrates. But of course you can always customize it to what you need. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.